In the early universe, the presence of powerful black holes unveils the phenomenon of time dilation. These formidable cosmic entities provide insights into the stretching and warping of time. Temporal existence is an elusive concept that has been contemplated by great intellects such as physicist Albert Einstein and the fictional character Doctor Who, who is known for traversing through time. In a 2007 episode of the renowned British science fiction series, Doctor Who aptly characterized time as being wibbly-wobbly. On Monday, scientists reiterated this assertion through a study that utilized observations of quasars, a formidable type of black hole. These observations were used to showcase the phenomenon known as time dilation in the early stages of the universe. The study revealed that during this time, the passage of time occurred at approximately one-fifth of the speed it does in the present. The observations themselves date back to approximately 12.3 billion years ago, when the universe was approximately one-tenth of its current age. In the study, quasars were utilized as a means of measuring time in the distant past. These celestial objects, known for their extraordinary luminosity, are supermassive black holes that can be millions to billions of times larger than our Sun. Typically found at the cores of galaxies, they possess an insatiable appetite for matter, drawing it in with their immense gravitational force. As a result, they emit powerful radiation, including high-energy particle jets, while a luminous disk of matter revolves around them. By examining the luminosity of 190 quasars scattered throughout the cosmos, the scientists were able to investigate events that took place approximately 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. A comparison was made between the luminosity of these ancient quasars and those still present today, revealing a significant discrepancy in the rate of fluctuations occurring over a specific time frame. Specifically, the fluctuations observed in the oldest quasars occurred at a rate five times slower than those observed in the present-day counterparts. In his seminal work on the general theory of relativity, Einstein demonstrated the intrinsic connection between time and space, revealing that the universe has been continuously expanding in all directions ever since the occurrence of the Big Bang. The study, which was published in the journal Nature Astronomy, and led by Geraint Lewis, an astrophysicist at the University of Sydney in Australia, proposes that the ongoing expansion of the universe provides an explanation for the phenomenon of time passing at a slower rate in the earlier stages of the universe compared to the present. The perception of time is not altered as if it were moving at a slower pace. If one were to travel back to that particular era, the passage of time would still be experienced in the same manner, with a second feeling like a second. However, when viewed from the perspective of the present, a second in the past would seemingly stretch out to five seconds in the present moment. According to Lewis, time is a complex concept in the field of modern physics. As Doctor Who famously stated, time can be characterized as wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. This implies that our comprehension of time and its boundaries is still limited, and certain possibilities such as time travel and warp drives have not been definitively excluded. The future holds the potential for great fascination, albeit with some uncertainty. Scientists have the ability to peer back in time by observing distant objects, as the time it takes for light to travel through space allows them to do so. In the past, scientists have recorded instances of time dilation dating back approximately 7 billion years. These observations were made during the study of supernovas, which are stellar explosions. By already having knowledge of the duration it takes for present-day supernovas to go from bright to dim, they examined these past explosions that occurred at significant distances from Earth. Through this analysis, they determined that these events unfolded at a slower pace when viewed from our current time perspective. The visibility of individual stars is restricted beyond a certain threshold, impeding their utility in the examination of the early cosmos. Conversely, quasars emit such intense luminosity that they remain observable even in the nascent epochs of the universe. Over the course of time, the luminosity of quasars is subject to observation. 
This luminosity fluctuates in a cyclic manner, which is the outcome of intricate physical processes occurring within the disk of matter that revolves around a black hole at near light velocities. This alteration in luminosity does not follow a simple pattern of brightness and fading. Rather, it resembles the volatility of the stock market, with minor fluctuations embedded within broader long-term shifts, occasionally punctuated by rapid and abrupt changes, Lewis explained. Lewis explained that the time scale of the light variations holds statistical properties that are crucial in determining the ticking rate of each quasar. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.